Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Virginia Tech standing on the precipice of having this season become a total disaster. So in this one, if something doesn't go their way early, they've got to forget it. Each play, a life and history of its own, short memory, try to build some type of rhythm, and maybe finally get a W. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. to be for what should be a great college football matchup. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. to kick this one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game he'll take it from the two brought down at the 27 the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive brought down after a nice run up the middle that makes it second and six. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. fake and looking to run he's at midfield he's taken down at the 48 yard line the Seminoles always have guys that are near the top statistically and that's no exception today we're really looking forward to watching this kid play from the 48 yard line first down two times two times He makes it to the 45-yard line. Here we go. Off play action. Now he's on the move. And he's tackled around the 43-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Jenkins is waiting for the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. 
Dunn's big play ability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because if you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. From their own 20-yard line. Let's Second go. down. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. in the middle tackle at the 27 yard line that was a good pass and catch there but still not enough for the first down that's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense all the defense has to do is stay back keep everything in front of them come up and make a tackle Clark back deep to return And he's taken down at the 40. The Hokies really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line, second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Good work, six yards. That'll bring up third and two. Tackled at the 43 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 43 yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop at the 36. That makes it second and two. Taken down right around the 34. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. They'll bring him down at the 31. Call it a gain of three yards. First down. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and four. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle made at the 16. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 16. Oh, 
Sends his receiver. Touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Georgia and Florida square off in the Florida-Georgia game. And for Florida, they've now won three in a row. And for Matthews, he had his passing attack in high gear, better than 350 yards. The Gators win it 38-31. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Back to Jenkins return. looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Brought down around the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Wants to go long and does. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and kick. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. tackled right away. Throwing the post route in the holes of zone coverage is just pitch and catch for these guys. They make it look so easy. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. From the nine yard line, it's second down. Here's a running play, and he hits him hard at the six yard line. Done. Gets three yards on the play. so far as we reach the end of one. Florida State's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He came down with it. Touchdown. for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. It was a six-play, 74-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. Britt ready to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They'll drop him for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Here we go. Ready. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. Man left, man left. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Reed on the inside handoff. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of five on the way. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 32. Four down, four down. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So it's first down and an eternity. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. You know, it takes a lot of courage for these tight ends to go over the middle of the field to try to secure these catches. This time, he gets separated by a big hit from the football. Here's the eighth play of the series. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackled after a decent pickup. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Fires out quick, it's picked off. And he's leveled at the 31-yard line. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Quick 
strike, and he drops it. You know, the quarterback's very fortunate that his wide receiver's getting up from that hit. That's a big hit by the defender. The quarterback should go up to his receiver and apologize for putting that ball in a position where he almost had his head taken off. Good outside run there. Done. Get six yards on the carry. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he's going to be sacked. And for Sands, that sack was his fifth of the year. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. Ray to punt. Clark takes it at the 33, and down he goes at the 41-yard line. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gets it out quickly, and he tackles him hard at the 44. Second down and seven. Ball on the 44-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll bring up third and two. He throws. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First and 10. Ball on the 38. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Makes it out to about the 33. That's a team of 10 on the way. That'll make it 35. And here's another third down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Florida State could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Dunn's performance for his team generally reflects how the team is going to play. And unfortunately for them right now, that's what they're seeing. Well, Brad, I just think they've gotten so accustomed to waiting to see how their star player plays that they've gotten used to just riding him all the way to the finish line. And here's a case where he's not necessarily playing his best game, and they're struggling. I think this is... Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. Tackle at the 29-yard line. Yeah, 
That was a dangerous pass. Well, you should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. From the 29-yard line, first down. Florida State has a three-point lead. Looks left, picked off. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. is this kid's 10th sack of the year. Boy, it takes a really special player to be able to consistently perform at such a high level week in and week out. It's been a great season for this guy. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Makes the catch and look out. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Third and five situation. Ball on their own 32. He's knocked out of bounds at the 35 yard line. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. At the 30. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Florida State holds a field goal lead. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. First down. Steps out of bounds at the 45. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Tight end grab, first down. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. The Seminoles are going to call their second timeout. defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He unloads it. Nice catch. First down, and he's knocked out. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 26 yard line. Right, 
He scrambles, and he can't get away from the pressure. Florida State is up a field goal. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 12-yard line. To the end zone. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. And he converts the extra point. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. 17-7, FSU. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The lead is solid. You're always happy, I think, when you go to the locker room up two possessions. But it appeared to me that maybe there was a, a little area in which doubt could creep in in the second half. Well, you always want to take a lead and start to build on it. And this is, you know, I think you could look at this first half and go, okay, I'm up. I feel good. But they're still hanging around. And you know what happens when you let teams hang around. And I know you got a two-score lead, but they're only a couple ways from making a difference. And you get the feeling that they got a little bit of confidence going, too. They're not scared anymore. They think that they can compete with this ball club. And the second half, execution is going to be critical. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house it belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Florida State's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. A four-yard gain by the halfback on the option. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down. And down he goes at the 28. That is a loss of one yard on the way. That makes it third and seven. him hard at the 34. Ray is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 24-yard line, and he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. The defense falls on it. And he's taken down right around the 16-yard line. He really 
wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Man, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So the call on the field will be reversed. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, third down. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Jenkins is the punter. He really got a hold of that one. Heading for the corner. Cook fields it at the 26. He gets hit out of bounds. The 39-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That brings up second and 13. From their own 36-yard line, second down. They bring him down. This kid just doesn't stop. That's his second sack of the game. That's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. And they push him out around the 46-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Taken down around the 41 yard line. Rogers on the tackle at the 41 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. On play action under heavy pressure. Now he's going to run and watch out. Dives forward. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. First and 10. Ball on the 31. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And a huge touchdown play. And for Graves, that's another touchdown pass, his third. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. He 
makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Down two possessions, this offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. From their own 35-yard line. Third down. Let's it go. And he's got it. Going the other way now. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Here's a run. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for him. And he is drilled at the 40 yard line. That's a deep three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 40 yard line. Graves off the fake. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. You mean the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Time right, time right. Four down, four down. 57 to the right. Back 57. Rifles this one out to the left. Found his man. Touchdown, FSU. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. That's a great touchdown, Brad. But what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator has got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying the offense and their tendencies. And then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. Jenkins looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Virginia Tech's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down, and they're forced to punt. Uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in a game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. Slings it. Tackle at about the 35. First and 10. Ball on their own 35. Almost picked off. That makes it second and ten. Ready? He 
fires right side, and he tackles him hard at the 45-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game, and I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From the 45-yard line, first down. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. That makes it second and ten. He's in trouble. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. This quarterback needs to give his playmakers a chance to make plays. He's got to be sure he gets the ball in their hands. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. That'll make it fourth and ten. Clark back deep to return. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Throws a bullet over the middle. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. From the 33 yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at about the 23 yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Tackle made at the five yard line. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Roger, Roger. 90s and Mike. Hey, watch the slant. <laughs> Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Running play fails on the two-point conversion. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The tradition so rich. General Neyland, Bear Bryant, Tennessee, and Alabama on the third Saturday in October. The Volunteers barrel their way into the end zone for the first points of the game. Tennessee leads it 7-0. It's 31-13 in our game. Virginia Tech to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Seminoles had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you could say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Dumps it out left, got the fullback, and they got him for a loss. So 
the end of the third quarter, Florida State leads 31-13. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He throws it. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Booming kick. He's taken down at the 32. Florida State's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they've stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed into what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they run to the football. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. He delivers into coverage, and the defense has it. He has to make better decisions than that. He should have known that there was no room to squeeze that ball in there. From the 48-yard line, first down. Toss left and he'll lose yards. yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38s. Right, right. Here we go. He wants it all. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Cook will be the return man. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And for Cox, it has not been an easy ride in this one. Right now, the defensive pressure flat out is causing these turnovers. When you're a defensive coordinator, you want to always try to get your defense to pin their ears back and put pressure on the quarterback. When you do that, you're going to create opportunities. These fans have made it very clear they're not happy with his performance. And with the game winding down, he doesn't have enough time to turn that around. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Under heavy pressure. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Three down, three down. 90 is a mic. And he's tackled at the 24 yard line. That's a deep 12 on the ground. That'll bring up 36. the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Ray to punt. Clark 
Takes it at the 33. Brought down at the 40. The Seminoles came out from the opening kick, and they just imposed their will in this game. Just a complete effort. You can look at the numbers. You can see that the stats show the offense has put up the numbers. The defense has done their job. It's about as good as you could hope for. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. And he's taken down at about the 41. Reed gains about a yard on the play. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 41. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Seven-yard line. That brings us fourth and three. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Kirk, we've talked a lot about this guy over the last few years. Here he is again, making it look easy. You know, you hear a lot of coaches talk about a ball hawk. Well, this is a classic example of a young man that just has a feel who always seems to be able to make plays for this defense. I'm going to slide my offensive line and my protection towards him to be able to try to take him away and do anything to try to mix up my looks for him. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Three down, three down. 90 is the mic. Fires out to his wideout. Only three yards there on the throw. It's a nice catch by the sophomore, but it was well played by the defense to stop him for a minimal gain. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. Quick throw. He's to the 40. He's tackled right around the 44 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. From their own 49-yard line, it's third down. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. There's a missed opportunity by the offense.
Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Less than three minutes in the game. Makes it out to about the 40. That's good for a game in the yards. That'll make it second in inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a game in three yards. First down. The middle for a nice game. Call it a game of six yards. That brings him second and five. From the 31 yard line, second down. Gets out to about the 31. the stop at the 29. This one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 31-13, FSU. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.